AQA, A-level physics, astrophysics option, and this is video number six. It's about absolute magnitude. In the last video, we did apparent magnitude. Now we're doing absolute magnitude. Uh, this bit of the specification is what we're going to look at. Now, a light year. What is a light year? It's the distance that light travels in a year. Okay, so... Uh, light travels in a vacuum three times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So could you work out what is a light year in meters then? If it's three times 10 to the 8 meters in one second, how far does it travel in a year? Pretty straightforward. The answer is a long way. Light year, a light year is a massive unit of distance. It's a big unit of distance. Uh, Apart from our sun, the nearest star to us, they're about five light years away. Very, very far away, five light years. Uh, traveling at the speed of light, it would take you five years to get there. Okay. Parsec. Now, uh, this isn't a definition of a parsec. A parsec is about 3.26 light years. You do have to be able to define the parsec, however. And what is a parsec? And I've seen an A-level question, define the parsec. My advice to you would be learn this sentence. The distance from Earth at which a star would have a heliocentric parallax angle of one arc second. What does that mean? If you really want to know, I've done a whole video about parsecs and things on my astronomy. It's basically parallax is when you look at things from a different angle and they appear to move. Uh, and as the Earth, the Earth goes around the sun, uh, some stars we look at from different angles, okay, compared to the stars very, very far away. And the difference in the angle, if the difference in the angle is one second in radians, then the, the star is one parsec away. So that's what a parsec is. Uh, learn that sentence. That's the definition of a parsec. Now, the absolute magnitude of a star, as I said in the last video, it's how bright it would appear to be from Earth if it were 10 parsecs away. So it's related to the luminosity of the star. It's a, actually a better measure of the luminosity of the star. Um, because all of these stars would be at the same distance. Now, what's the relationship between little m and big M? Uh, and there's this equation here, which basically you need to be able to use and you need to practice using it. Uh, it's very, very useful because if you know the apparent magnitude and you know the absolute magnitude, you can work out how far away stars are and if you see certain types of stars in in galaxies you can work out how far away the galaxies are uh, hubble found this very very useful you may remember from gcse we'll talk about that later you need to be able to use this equation okay uh, let's do an example now a certain type of star uh, has an absolute magnitude big m of 2.7 uh, its apparent magnitude from Earth is 5.4. How far away is it? Pause the video. Have a go yourself. The answer is... Okay, so I've bunged in the numbers. I've worked it out. 34.6 parsecs. Okay, a little bit more than 10 light years. Okay, here's another... Uh, example for you to have a go at. These are three stars in Orion's belt, which is obviously in Orion. Alnitak, uh, Alnilam and Mintaka. Uh, I've given you their absolute magnitudes. I've also given you their apparent magnitudes. First of all, which star is brightest to the naked eye? And which star has the greatest luminosity? Uh, how far away is Alnitak in light years? Well, which star is brightest to the naked eye? 
Now, that would be the one with the, the lowest number for uh, apparent brightness. So that is Al Nilam, 1.65. Which star has the greatest luminosity? Well, that would be the one which has uh, the smallest number for um, absolute magnitude. And you'll notice that Al Nilam and Al Nitak are both minus 5.15. So they have the same absolute magnitude. They've probably got the same luminosity. How far away is Al Nitak in light years? Um, and if you use that equation, you get 251 parsecs, uh, which is 819 light years.